when we look at the control of obesity it cannot be achieved at one point of life but it is actually a life course approach that would make the uh, control much more effective starting from the pregnant mother going on to the newborn baby then early childhood and adolescence why i say so is because the risk of development of non communicable diseases begins from in utero and during the period of intrauterine life the child will get programmed to develop in a certain environment and if the environment is art- artificially altered after birth because birth is just only an event in the growth of the individual where he changed from a highly dependent environment to a relatively independent environment if we begin to change the course of the child had been growing then of course gradually he will begin to accumulate more and more risk factors for the development of uh, non communicable diseases later in life so what is the important factor is throughout the life whether the child is in intrauterine period or whether the child is during the early infancy we have to consider this factor very important and do the necessary uh, interventions in order to keep the risk at a very very minimum uh, stage so it is very important to keep these risk factors as low as possible in order to delay the onset of development of non communicable diseases in a child who is destined to develop non communicable diseases later in life now one of the important factors is why we are trying to control is to prevent the comorbidities related to childhood obesity as well as to development of non communicable diseases later in life and approaching this during childhood is very important because of the plasticity of the individual in the early stages the plasticity is very high that is they respond very much uh, easily to the changes which we bring about to change the life course of the individual however if we prolong this it will be very very arduous to bring them to a less risk state from a high risk state so it is very important in the struggle to control non communicable diseases that we take a approach very early in life if not at during fetal life at least during infancy or first 2 years of life in order to make them uh, grow correctly and achieve uh, a healthy body composition healthy metabolic profile and delay the development of non communicable diseases later in life so therefore it is very important that we take steps to control di- uh, childhood obesity and prevent actually development of childhood obesity as it was once predicted by the idf that the younger generation could suffer from lot of morbidity uh, and mortality even in uh, ncd related uh, diseases than their uh, parental generation therefore if we are serious about controlling non communicable diseases the best period to start is within the first 1000 days of life where within the first 200 years of life we should embark on a proper nutrition as well as proper growth monitoring and make sure that the child grows to the optimal potential not less not more and thrive as a healthy adult